Morning legends! It is Wednesday morning at 10.45 and I have been on fire this morning. Got up early, did my morning routine, meditated. Um, I then watched someone's vlog, got some ideas about vlogs and how to improve my vlog, what I can be doing. I'm always trying to learn around that. I feel like sometimes my content can get a bit too similar. Um, so please let me know what you guys want to see. I want to keep giving value to you guys. That's the whole idea of the vlog. So, Raining outside, it's cold, so I've got my Cricket Mentoring hoodie on, love these hoodies, we got some great feedback from Liz yesterday about um, her gear arriving, her merch, she said it's really comfortable and fits well, so that's great to hear, I'm glad people are enjoying their merch. Um, I have spoken to Waldo this morning, we had a 45 minute call about um, Cricket Mentoring, what we're doing, the future planning, um, some great value from that. Um, I have been going through some emails, I've just... Um, been contacting and replying to a bunch of emails, um, really sort of important emails. I'm getting loads of emails, so unfortunately I can't back, get back to everyone, but just making sure I get back to those that um, are really important about the business and the structure of the business and, and that sort of thing. Um, I'll show you, I'm just about to start uh, recording the intro and outro for the Robin Smith interview, which I'll then put into Final Cut, um, and then I'll upload it um, to the drive. We will then download it and we'll put it into Podbean with the artwork and the description and stuff. Uh, Will's living in South Australia at the moment. He's back this weekend, so looking forward to having he him here in Perth for all the next week. And then we fly to England the following Monday on the 9th of July. I spent an hour this morning planning out my trip to July, uh, to England, um, looking at my calendar and looking at things that we can do. So pumped for that. Can't wait to get over to England. Um, it's going to be action-packed. We're going to be here, there and everywhere, all over the country doing podcast interviews, coaching, running talks, doing presentations on mental and emotional peak performance. Um, we're going to be going to 2020s. Um, we're going to be doing all sorts of great, cool things. We're going to be hanging out with some elite players. We're going to be filming lots of content. So can't wait for that. And it's all to bring you guys value. It's all to try and give you guys as much value as I can and we can as Cricket Mentor and get around to as many people as we can. So if you're in the UK and you're watching this, you want a session with me, then leave a comment below or send me an email um, and we can certainly try and work that out, although my time is limited. So just thought I'd give you a little insight into some of our tech. I've got my laptop here. Um, there's my laptop. And then over here is all of, these are our um, wireless microphones that I put on top. Um, and then we wear these on our lapel. These are what I use for the interview. Got the Bose headphones. Um, and then I've got one hard drive here, another hard drive here, both one terabyte. And then I've got these cords are coming out of the drawer here. There's big hard drives in there. I've got a four terabyte and a ten terabyte in there. Um, I'm a massive Collingwood Football Club fan, so I've named all of my devices a certain uh, Collingwood player. Steel Sidebottom, Tarkin Lockyer, Alan Didak, Leon Davis. This is Nathan Buckley, who's one of my heroes. And this one's Scott Pendlebury, who's another one of my heroes. Collingwood Heroes, Collingwood Legends. Right now I'm recording this video on a SD card, just like this one, and that is called um, Jamie Elliott. So it's been a life changer, for, a game changer, I shouldn't say life changer, it's a bit dramatic, but it's been a game changer for me naming my devices rather than thinking that's, that's number one, that's number two, what's on what. I now know what's on what, what's on Pendlebury, what's on Buckley. It's funny to say, but it really does work. So just about to get on with this stuff of the Robin Smith interview. Um, and then I'm going to go and treat myself to a coffee. Hey vlog, just another check in. I've just watched a, an amazing, uh, very uh, inspiring and emotional video. It, uh, it actually sort of brought me to tears. Um, it's called The Brain That Changed Walking the Great Wall of China with Cerebral Palsy. Um, this guy's name's Andrew Short. Uh, I'm going to put a link in our description of this video. Um, Andrew Short was born with cerebral palsy and he, along with his trainer Lee, um, uh, who's just been working with Cricket Australia over the weekend, I was put onto this video by Buck, um, who made a good relationship with Lee over the weekend. Um, but this is, video is so powerful about the way we view things. Andrew, who has cerebral palsy, said he feels like he's one of the luckiest people to be born in Australia. Um, he said because he had a mother that always wanted him and 
he said, you've got to take charge of your disability, otherwise it takes charge of you. And it was just so um, powerful and it really did make me emotional to see his outlook on life and people could feel sorry for him, but um, Lee, his trainer, really helps him get the best out of himself. And whatever thing you're struggling with, whatever you think is tough, you've got to just try and get some perspective and, and realise that um, life probably isn't as bad as you think it is and try and be grateful for the things you do have and try and focus on the positive things. Try and focus your attention, your energy on the things that allow you to feel good and feel happy and give back to others, help others. Don't focus so much on yourself. That's often when we feel bad is when we're focusing on ourselves. Focus on others, give back um, and use Andrew as an inspiration. He's inspired me to do more, do do bigger and better things and help more people. So, Andrew Short, you're a hero. All right, so, Cammy, I mean, Curtis, What's up? you're gonna go here, yeah. on your knee. Okay. Reverse it, I'm just gonna throw my machine on the foot, okay? Okay, now just to start, start with your hands that side. Start with your hands that side.
Yeah, so with the same speed, we're we'll speeding, we'll feed a bounce speed, and you can either hard sweep or reverse sweep or whatever sweep you want. So it'll be, it'll be the same feed as the first one. Enjoying it, Brighton? It's good. Learning different sweeps and reverse sweeps. Like reasonably flat, the same as what you did for the first lot. Yeah. You can do either a hard sweep, reverse sweep, whatever you want. You've got 15 balls to play around with it, okay? On the full or bounce. No, it'll be a bounce, should be on the bounce. Stop, Brighton. Okay, give him a chance to reset, no rush. Okay, so the other net, what's your yeah. extra one there doing it well? Two rounds. Right, Cam. Sit, don't rush. Two, two in a row. So your first cam, first zone will say is 45. Alright, you guys have to go ahead and you're going to try and hit 45. Okay? If you score, you move on to the next zone. If you score, as the batter, the next zone is back to behind square, you might say, no, nah, not me, and the next guy subs in. But if you hit that zone as well, you can't stay into the third ball, you have to go out. Yeah. Okay, so you can only face a max of two balls in a row, but each zone, you guys decide who's going to try and hit that zone. If you kick it off, you move to the next zone. Yeah. Okay, but you, you can't hit more than two balls in a row. If you miss it, you're out, the next guy goes in. You guys work out who's going to try and hit that zone, okay? That's why it comes teamwork, it works out the self-awareness, just knowing where you guys are good at. Okay? The first zone will be 45. Actually, no, we'll go first zone, third man. Then we're going to go around the field on the offside, like we did last week, but against spin. But now you guys are working out who's sitting on zone, okay? Competition in both teams. We've got 20 push-ups, we'll start with. Then we'll do 20 burpees. Okay? Then we'll do 50 bicycle crunches, either side. Then we'll do a minute plank, um, and then to finish, we will do 50 mountain climbs. Okay, good technique. Everyone should be able to do 20 chest to the ground, to try and keep your head up a bit. Find some space away from the net. Right, you count out your own, make sure you're going low. Let's go. <laughs> good. Alright, 20 burpees, chest to the ground, jumping up. Got it all on camera, Brighton. You better not have cheated, mate. I want to do it. Yeah, all right. Good work, boys. Good work. Someone. Someone stopwatch for us, please, for one minute. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Oh, you got it here? Uh, okay. Yeah. One minute, tell us when. Two, two, one, go. Good. Yes, Curtis. Calm down, Gordon. Sorry. <coughs> Shaking a bit, Tommy. Get it done. Back yourself. <laughs> Well, that's fifty total. Knees up to get elbows. Well done, boys. Get around each other. Good work. Good boys. Good. 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 Good well Danny. Good. Good. Cameraman. Good chest, boys. Good Danny. Alright. Ross. Just before we finish, oh, stay in, stay in. Alright, as we get our breath back. One thing each for what you learnt tonight. Big dog. Uh, for me, 
uh, especially with my sweep shot. I'm probably getting more down to the ball because from what I've been watching, like most batsmen probably do get down to the ball, but because TV doesn't slow it down, it looks like they're going like that. So yeah. really hoping to get in my head forward on top of the ball. Yeah, good. At the point of the contact. Good, good, good. Jazz? Uh, don't premeditate the shots um, because the bowler will have more time to be aware of what I'm going to do. Yeah. And to like keep doing like different like movements instead of keeping the same technique for the different shots. Yeah, cool. Good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I learned that I have a decent sweep shot, so like keep practicing it and working on it. You know, don't just like forget about it. Use it in a game. Definitely, yeah. definitely. You sweat beautifully. Hey vlog, home in the kitchen cooking some dinner. I've got some mints, uh, turkey mints. Uh, I've got onion in there, I've got some garlic in there, I'm going to add in some tomatoes and some tomato um, puree uh, and then I'll put some corn chips into the oven for a little um, uh, nacho type dinner. Um, I've got the laptop here, I'm watching some vlogs, trying to learn stuff for me. Um, this is a time I switch off, I'm cooking dinner for uh, me and Mrs S. Um, and instead of just doing nothing else, I try and learn, I try and, um, I'm often watching Gary V. Um, today I've got a vlog on um, from another person I've come across called Silicon Valley Girl. She seems really interesting and she's running a successful global business, so hopefully learn a few things from her. Um, I've just watched a video on fasting, intermittent fasting, and how that's um, good for your body, good for um, burning fat. Um, and that's something I'm trying to do at the moment. My best mate Jamesy is guiding me on that, our leg spin mentor. Um, he is, he's been doing it for a while. He's done a lot of research and reading into fasting and also what sort of food he should be eating. He's cut out carbs um, so that he's then he's eating high fats and then his body is using fat for energy instead of um, carbs. I don't know enough about it yet, but um, I'm trying to do something similar, although I'm not cutting all carbs out. I'm having some corn chips tonight. I'm having sweet potatoes still, but I'm trying not to have bread anymore. Trying not to have pasta or rice, um, and just trying to eat really healthily. Salads for lunch instead of wraps. Um, no toast in the morning, which I absolutely love, but not doing that anymore. It's a bit dark in here. One of our globes is blown, so I'll have to fix that. I'm not a very good handyman, but... On that note, I'm going to get back to the vlog. I'm going to get back to finishing off dinner. So I hope you legends have enjoyed today's vlog. Um, I loved bringing this episode to you. I'll be in the UK soon, which I can't wait about. I've already spoken about today. So let me know if you've got any questions. Write down below. I'll be hanging out in here tomorrow um, to answer the questions. So leave a comment below and I will speak to you legends soon.